and today we are looking at the iRig HD2 from IK Multimedia. <laughs> Hi and welcome to this review of the iRig HD2 from IK Multimedia. Now the iRig is um, quite a well-known brand if, you're, uh, if you play guitar for a while. Basically they started out giving you an interface for your devices. So I used to have one which plugs straight to the headphone socket of uh, my iPhone and allowed you to record music from your guitar or instrument into something like their software AmpliTube. Now the HD2 takes this to a whole new level uh, and rather than relying on headphone sockets it plugs straight into the lightning port uh, or into a USB port on a PC or Mac. You can still use any software that accepts an audio in so on the iPad for instance I use GarageBand a lot uh, on the PC I'm using their own software the, um, the AmpliTube software AmpliTube 4 uh, why is that? Because it comes, it's free and the iRig unlocks a load of amps and effects for free as well. So I'll put more than that in a second. So I'm going to read some of the stats for the iRig and then I'm going to talk to you a bit about it and then just do some demos of sounds through AmpliTube and how easy it is to use. So reading from their website, it is a, it is a 96 kilohertz digital audio with 24 bit AD conversion. Uh, it has a one and a quarter inch amp output jack with switchable output FX and through. Now that's important. So what that means is you can take the iRig, plug your guitar into it, and then plug it, plugs in there. Amp can be plugged in there, which means that you can use all of the effects that your iPad or computer is processing straight onto your amp. Or if you don't want to do that, you can uh, flick it to through and it'll give you a clean output. So what that means is you can record and play through all the effects, but you can have a separate output that's completely clean, which is very useful when you're doing uh, recording mixes, because if you want to reamp, so redo the, the amplification, the models, whatever it might be, you have a clean output to do just that if you need it. What else have we got? Headphone sockets. Um, obviously for headphones. You also have a little clip at the back that allows you to velcro it to a mic stand if you're using it live for instance. Um, and as I said it unlocks uh, a lot of extra uh, gear on the AmpliTube software for iOS, PC and for Mac. So that's enough of me talking. I'm going to demo it now through the iPad version of AmpliTube, show you a few amp models, a few effects and that's about it to the demo. Okay, so I am plugged into the iRig 2, going into a small monitor uh, speaker through the headphone out, and then I've got the AmpliTube software on the iPad recording. Now, you'll see the screen up here. So I'm going to take you through some of the presets, play around with some of the amps and the effects, show you a few features, uh, and then that's about it really. So at the moment I am going to start recording, and this is through the software that's unlocked when you plug in the, I, the iRig and register it. I'm going to go into the amp cabinet, and you can see you've got various amps that you can purchase, but there's a load of amps that are unlocked. Uh, and then there are also a ton of pedals that you can either buy or are already unlocked. So we'll go through some of the presets, some of the amp stuff, and then that's it. So let's start with 70s Rust. So we've got an octave, an overdrive, and what looks like a fairly clean amp. And in the post effects, so in the effects loop, we have a phaser as well. It's quite cool, like that. What else we got that sounds fun? 80s dirt. So we are looking at a Marshall style amp, got delay. Chorus. And you can just turn these pedals on and off by pressing them. Overdrive. Yeah. 
Uh, Aliens Cry, Octave, Phaser again. <laughs> That's quite fun. Any other ones? All Night? Or oh, I'm missing a few bits from that. So again, what you'll find as you play around the settings, there might be ones you're missing. Um, and it gives you the kind offer to go and buy them. Uh, Cosmic Trip. Deep metal, now that's more like it. Delay. A bit more delay than I wanted there. There you get it, a bit of your Metallica out. Liquid clean. Vintage metal. Plenty of presets to play around, but where the joy of this sort of thing is. Uh, comes from trying it out yourself and trying out different effects. So if we go through some of the amps, so we've heard the uh, the lead amp. That's that's based on a Marshall um, yeah, slash type sounds. And you can play with any of the settings. We have a vintage me metal lead. Clean sounds. Probably based on a Fender Twin of some description. Drive again. Treble, bit of reverb. Metal. So I'm guessing this is meant to be kind of P the or Then you're into the paid ones. So if we play around with some of the pedals as well, so if I stick a noise gate in just to uh, give us some hope, um, and we've got and we've got a lot of stuff in here. Obviously, we've got the delay that we've seen, uh, Crusher, which is kind of a weird modulating gain pedal. So without, with, and then we can mess around with it. Heading towards mic pedals here. Uh, compression, feedback, phaser, always love phasers. chorus already but I do like chorus. Ah, 
now, so the wah is quite cool. So you can set it a bit like a filter. Using your finger. What else? Flanger. This gives you one octave down. Envelope filter is a bit like an open wire, really. Another type of phaser, a fuzz pedal. So we all know what a fuzz pedal is going to sound like. So without a fuzz pedal. Right, let's go to a cleaner amp. So without a fuzz pedal. With. Overdrive, just, you know, tube screamer. Electric flanger, this is based on an electro, electro harmonics. Heavy setting. If we put that over here and throw in a another effect, which is the distortion effect, uh, which comes with the when you pay, not sorry, when you plug the iRig in. <laughs> So you can play around with where things are positioned, get things you like. You can put stuff into the post effects. So if I wanted to have, I don't know, a phaser in here. I can, just because I want to. So, it is the iRig itself is fantastic because it allows you to go into all of these bits of software. And like I said, you can use uh, you can use GarageBand just as easily as you can use um, AmpliTube, uh, loads of other like amp kits and all kinds of other uh, kind of multi effects amp simulators. But I've used a lot of different kind of interfaces for for the iPad, and the iRig HD2 so far has been the absolute best. For the money um, because obviously you can pay a lot more and get better stuff but most of it again is made by ik multimedia so if you're looking for a way to connect to your ipad to play or indeed if you're looking for a digital interface for pc at a decent price then yeah irig hd2 definitely uh, definitely up there with the best for me um, that's it from me for today i hope that you found that slightly useful uh, if you're interested in iRig, there is an affiliate link down below. If you're interested in Amplitude, I'll stick a link into the App Store. Until next time, I will see you later and uh, happy recording. Cheers.